Hey, you know, this is a very active scene here behind me. A two alarm fire, meaning there are 50 to 60 firefighters trying to get everything under control. Now, we arrived here shortly after firefighters did. They say they got the call at about 9 11 this morning. And we have some video of when we first arrived here on the scene. Now, since we've been here, the fire has actually gotten worse. We saw white smoke to begin with, then that white smoke turned black. And then we saw flames shooting through the roof of this building. I just spoke to a fire official, and he tells me that this fire is very deep seated. It has spread very deep through the building there, and they tell us they have not been able to have get access to the building. So there are still a lot of questions uh, surrounding this fire that they have not been able to answer because they can't get inside this building. Now, as we mentioned, this is the old hospitality inn, and I spoke to an officer out here on the scene, and he tells me that it's been closed now for four or five years, but the area surrounding it is very active. There are a lot of new businesses, little restaurants, a little market there on the corner, and some of those are being affected. There's a Thai restaurant as well as Chai Market. Those are right next door to this abandoned building, and they are being affected right now. Uh, I spoke to the fire official here on the scene, and he says that they were trying to protect those two businesses right there, but it does appear that the fire may have jumped the firewall, and those businesses are possibly affected at this time. Now, as far as injuries are concerned, uh, uh, there does not appear to be any injuries, but of course, firefighters don't know if anyone is inside. It was an abandoned building, but they have not been able to go and search the building yet. They are still uh, limited to their access to the building because this is such a large fire and it's impacting uh, such a large area. Now, this area here, we are uh, we are on 7th Avenue South and we have part of the area blocked off. So if you are driving around this area, 7th Avenue South, 22nd Street, that is the location of this fire and you are not able to travel around here because they have the streets blocked here so firefighters can get access to the building. But we are expecting an update from firefighters uh, here on the scene. Again, they've been out here a long time and they say this is a long term operation. They expect to be out here for most of the day. For now, we're live in Birmingham. Sarah Killian, WVTM 13. Thanks, Sarah. Before you go, can you give us a better look at what's going on there as far as the actual fire that the uh, first responders are responding to? Right, you know, so I'm going to step out of the way so you can get a look. We're going to get Mel to kind of push in here. We are on 7th Avenue South, and this is uh, the building there is almost on the corner of 7th Avenue South and 22nd Street. It is sitting right in between a brand new apartment building and two businesses there. So as I mentioned, this is an abandoned building where the fire is burning, but the area surrounding it very active. A lot of new businesses around here, so uh, a very active area. We've seen a lot of spectators here standing by watching the scene. So uh, a very busy scene out here where we are right now. Now, Eunice. All right, thanks so much, Sarah. We continue our team coverage with WVTM 13's Jeff Eliasoff. Jeff, most of Southside and UAB campus are covered in that smoke this morning. Sure are, Eunice, and uh, I'll give you a, a kind of a quick glance at what's going on here. This is sort of catty corner. We're at the intersection of University and Richard Arrington Boulevard, and you can see that acrid gray smoke pouring out of the hospitality inn with no signs of letting up. We were on the other side and we too did see uh, flames shooting out of that old uh, hotel. Uh, once again, pure speculation about whether uh, homeless folks uh, started that fire or whatever. It's been closed, uh, as you said, uh, for four or five years. Now, as we pan, I want a little bit uh, of a perspective for you here. As we go to the west, you can see portions of the UAB campus, uh, traffic being redirected. The police officer here uh, telling me that uh, really between uh, Oh, 20th and 23rd Street, all the way here on University. They are diverting traffic because of the uh, danger here that remains and the smoke. This is actually as good as it's been in the last few minutes for us uh, just on the uh, west side of this fire uh, because the smoke has been absolutely as thick as it can be uh, over the last uh, oh, 20 or 30 minutes. Fortunately, the wind blows uh, every which way, uh, which does tend to clean out the uh, one area and then another pocket. Tyler, if you want to make a 180 slowly, go back and look at this uh, Hilton Hotel property. If you can, look at how thick uh, the smoke is there. And that gives you some idea. Once again, as traffic is being diverted, you see a little bit of a confusing situation here, but you can also at some points barely see uh, the hotel there because the smoke is going now from east to west and uh, is very thick and shows no signs of letting up. Now let's, if we can, Tyler, go back and show folks. Uh, sorry to make you move so much here. It's hard to uh, know exactly from whence this is coming, but look at the amount of smoke still pouring in our direction, enveloping us here, 
and uh, not so easy to breathe. So this is not a good place uh, to come right now. So far, the police tell me uh, there have been no evacuations at the hospital. Uh, air conditioning units work to prevent things like this from getting into the hospital. So far, so good on that. Uh, don't have any official word on neighboring apartments that may have been evacuated, but once again, you're looking at a very, very active scene here. As Sarah described, she's looking at a lot of fire. We're looking at a heck of a lot of smoke here. And of course, we'll stay on the scene just as long as firefighters are working this uh, very, very heavy blaze with a tremendous amount of smoke over, looks like a square mile area. <laughs> Forgive me. Reporting live in downtown, Jeff Elias off WVTM 13.